Milling Through History presents It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. The Peanuts comic strip began in 1950 by Charles M. Schultz, and in 1965, a Charlie Brown Christmas special uh, was released and became an instant classic. Now, with the success of the special, CBS immediately requested two additional specials from the Peanuts gang. The second one, which was produced, was Charlie Brown's All-Stars, and this proved to be a success, at least when it came to ratings, but it was nowhere near as close to this Christmas special when it came to being a timeless classic. And so, having to fulfill a third special for CBS, Schultz wanted to create a holiday special, but the problem was, how in the world could you create another one just as good as Christmas? In fact, a great deal of pressure was being put on the writers by telling them that this new special had to be a blockbuster. It had to have that same magic that the Christmas one did. And so the writers had already developed two major themes they wanted to be placed into the special. The first one is that Snoopy was a World War I pilot ace. The second was Lucy pulling away a football from Charlie Brown. These two portions of the comic strip had always been fan favorites, and the writers knew this had to be incorporated into the next special. But what kind of special could allow you to do both of these? Well, it was, it was Charles Schultz who came up with the idea of making the special about Halloween. He decided upon this because he noticed how Snoopy's uniform, when he's acting like the World War I ace, looked like a Halloween costume. And as soon as the idea of Halloween was brought forward, the writing for the episode went magnificently. The writers immediately knew what to do. They could just take parts of the comic strip, which had already been in play, and just put them all together. One of the things that made this easier was the fact that, for years, Linus had been talking about the Great Pumpkin. And every year at Halloween, the legend of the Great Pumpkin kept being grown. And so... All they had to do was just go back to those strips, put to get, put it all together, and now you had something to tie in. Snoopy's World War I pilot ace. You had the football at the very beginning, and then you had the whole idea of the gang trick-or-treating while Linus was looking for the great pumpkin to arrive and give him presents. Now, another aspect of the production which proved to be rather important was bringing in the child actors to voice the characters. Now, for one of the actors, this was important, namely that for the voice of Sally. Kathy Steinberg was reading the lines for this character, and it had to be recorded the night before all the rest of the production was occurring, because, much to the shock of everybody involved, she would announce, I have a loose tooth. And immediately, the producers were concerned that if that tooth came out, she could have a notable lisp when recording the dialogue. So, the night before production, they recorded her saying all of her lines, and then they would use these lines in the recording of all the other child actors. Well, sure enough, no sooner did she finish it than the tooth fell out. And the next day when she came in and started talking to everybody, there was that lisp. And so, just by the span of a few short hours, Sally was able to have her, her lines recorded without having a lisp. Now, much like the Christmas special, the Halloween special does have a number of themes to it, the biggest ones being that of religion and faith. For Linus, he confuses the values and customs of Christmas with that of Halloween. And the idea of denominational difference, a term used in the comic strip, is used in the special. Now, the reason for this is because when it was pointed out to Linus that, you know, you're confusing Halloween with Christmas, he used that famous line, denominational differences. And the whole principle behind it is that Charles Schultz believed that the idea that one religion's belief system was 100% right was not correct, and that multiple religions can have right ideas, and that all of them are basically looking for the same thing. It's just that everyone takes a different approach in trying to get to that end goal. Now, the special would also show many of the traditional aspects of Halloween, including trick-or-treating, pumpkin carving, costumes, and other traditions found within different neighborhoods. Now, when the Halloween special was released, it was a massive success, garnering 49% of the viewing audience. 
Impressed with those numbers, CBS would continue to rebroadcast the special until the year 2000. In 2001, the special was moved to ABC, where it would continue to be shown until 2020, when the special became exclusive to Apple+. A licensing agreement had been struck between Apple and PBS for 2021, but was re- was not renewed in 2022. Now, the special, much like the Christmas one, is aired for free um, in October between the 28th and the 31st on Apple+. Plus. Just like the Thanksgiving special is aired for free, as is the Christmas special being aired for free only during their respective times when it's most notable to have them. And so, for the better part of almost 60 years, the Charlie Brown uh, Halloween special has become part of our lives. And I have to admit, one of my personal favorite parts is when everyone talks about what they got and Charlie Brown's famous lines of, I got a rock. We can all relate to that unfortunate situation. And so, when it comes to trick-or-treating, make sure everyone gets their fair share of candy. And who knows, if you're really lucky, maybe even the Great Pumpkin will show up to your home. You never know. And if you don't believe in them, just remember, somebody does. And that's just a case of denominational differences. For more information, please consider these suggested titles. Be sure to click on the left-hand side of the screen to subscribe to our show, and on the right-hand side for our latest episode. And we will see you again for the next episode of Milling Through History.